Hi, welcome seventh grade parents of food students. Um, I was gonna talk to you a little bit about your seventh graders and what they're gonna study in foods class. Um, so uh, seventh grade is an introduction to foods class. We learn some basic components of foods. Um, the students will learn uh, a little bit about safety and sanitation, which is what we had started on already. Um, they need to learn to be safe and sanitary so they don't get hurt or get sick or get somebody else hurt or sick um, in the kitchen. And we also problem solve um, some first aid items if something does happen. Um, and then once I know that they are good with safety and sanitation, then we start cooking. And for cooking, Excuse me. Um, they learn about the basic components of cooking, which would be lab procedures, measurements, nutrition, functions of ingredients, and also um, if it's not a healthy lab or a healthy ingredient, how and what can they substitute with it to make it better. But above all, what they really learn in class is real life problem solving skills. Um, what's unique about class this year is since that we're doing e-learning, um, they're gonna have to do some meal prepping. They're gonna have to do the shopping. Uh, that might be online shopping. That might be having the list ready for you, uh, sorry, to go to the store. Um, there's a lot of things that it could mean, um, but it also means that they will have to, excuse me, get the ingredients together and um, the utensils. And in addition to that, they're also going to have to cook the food and clean up after themselves. Yay. So um, you will get a little treat afterwards. Um, there will be a couple sweet labs and a couple savory labs. But the point is that they learn the behind the scenes things that needs to happen when you're cooking uh, and the planning process behind it. And then they also get to make it and get the um, uh, what they're used to, what they see from it, uh, the final product, the good stuff. So um, there's a lot that they're going to learn that has to do, well, excuse me, with real life. Um, and um, here are some of the labs that we have anticipated. I have the students vote on some labs, um, and then I take and I look at what works and what doesn't work with what I want their learning to be from each lab. So we usually start with easier labs and we progressively get harder, um, so that way they can adjust. Um, they are and include puppy chow, lava cake, crumble top, apple pie, Chinese orange chicken, chicken fried rice, and pizza. Now, we may get to all of them. We may only get to a few. It really depends on your children and how fast they learn things um, and if we need to review more. So it totally depends, but that's what we have anticipated to make. Um, so what you'll see is you'll see every Friday, Excuse me. Um, every Friday, they will come home with an ingredient list. Um, and then you guys will need to shop for their lab, which will be that following Thursday or Friday, depending on if they are second or eighth period. Um, that also helps, that gives you a while to get the ingredients, but it also helps to have the students to plan um, if they need to defrost something, if it needs to be frozen first, how do we keep it fresh, um, all those things that uh, the ins and outs of cooking behind the scenes that will help. Um, so that's just a little bit about class. Um, it is a great class uh, for them to be taking, especially now as we are all home. Um, I call my classes DIY, do it yourself, because uh, that's basically what I teach. Um, so um, feel free to ask me questions, uh, follow the link that uh, was added. Um, and uh, I wish we could meet in person and see each other again, but we can't, so um, possibly we can chat. Have a lovely day and stay safe. Bye-bye.